I've been watching a pretty big turtle right out here in front of us, and he's just floating on the surface. I'm waiting for his head to go down, and what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to make a run and a hand capture. Now the water is kinda deep right there. His head just went down. Alright, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Go, go, go. Look at that. He isn't enormous. <sighs> but he's a pretty good sized turtle. And that's just gonna have to be roll shot because. And that's the turtle we caught earlier. That's the turtle we caught earlier. <laughs> 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 nice grab, Coyote. That was a whole lot of effort for a turtle. <sighs> Hello again. <sighs> Since the dawn of mankind, legends have always captivated us. Yarns passed down from generation to generation. Stories that widen our eyes, bringing wonder to the imagination. That maybe, just maybe, the tales that keep us awake at night are true. Black Lick Woods, located in central Ohio, is home to the oldest body of water in the Metro Park District, Ashton Pond. A deep forest sanctuary of dark water, thick plant life, and rumors of dragons. My captures of Cornelius have always been epic, bringing the attention of media, onlookers, and those who say that they have seen a bigger turtle. Carl Hassel is one of those people, a soft-spoken man who would define himself as an amateur photographer. However, the images he has captured of wildlife are nothing short of professional. I met Carl in 2010. At the time, he was a stranger, a man with a camera, and a man with a story. He told me the tale of a giant turtle, a beast so massive it dwarfed the other turtles nearby, and while I listened, I was doubtful that a giant could live in such a small body of water. He could sense my doubt, and that's when he said that he had the photographs to prove it. He was probably this big. His head came up out of the water, and I swear that head was probably this big. It was bigger than the turtles that were on the log. But well, he actually came up out of the water and literally climbed up on top of the one that I was photographing sunning himself. He was huge. He was the biggest turtle I've ever seen. And I've been photographing in here for quite a few years and I've never seen one that size. Carl's tale was not completely far-fetched. This was a man who has spent the better part of the past decade photographing wildlife. You would think he knows a big turtle when he sees one, and I hoped that he was right. The stage was set, and the only thing to do now was capture the dragon. Stumpbeak, this is one of the most difficult turtles to catch, period, in the United States. I've caught him one other time. This is now our fourth attempt coming out to the pond in the morning to try to get this turtle. And it gets frustrating. You try and you try and you try. Nothing tops Stumpbeak. He is the true legend here in central Ohio. Uh, it's been raining all morning and sometimes it takes a storm to catch a monster. All right, let's go get him. The turtle we are after today is appropriately named Stumpbeak. His gnarled head Missing eye, an ancient stump-like appearance, camouflage him perfectly amidst the dense foliage that lines the edges of the pond, rendering him invisible unless you know exactly what you are looking for. Now the turtles are just waking up right now. 
and the last thing we want to do is spook them and cause them to go back down into the deep waters. We want to let them get comfortable, let them start hunting, let them pay attention to what they're doing, and then they won't be paying attention to me. And then we got a shot at landing a really big dragon. You can spend days walking back and forth across the dock of Ashton Pond, hoping for a dragon sighting, only to ever catch your own reflection in the water below. There are three distinct signs that I look for when targeting a dragon. Bubble trails, a carapace breaching the surface, or a head sticking up. It's so hard to spot these turtles with all the vegetation that grows along the sides of this pond. Really what I rely on is the bubble trails. The bubble trail is the definitive sign that there's a snapping turtle moving through the environment. It wasn't long before we had our first sighting. At the far side of the pond, the legend had surfaced. I'm looking at him right now. Just went down. Holy cow, that's him, 100%. And the way that I can always recognize Stumpbeak is that the front of his nose is kind of chomped off, probably lost it when he was really young, but he is definitely right back in the corner right now up against that log. Whew. All right, let's do it. All right, we know right where Stumpbeak is. Toughest turtle in central Ohio to catch. All right, I'm going in no matter what happens. I'm gonna approach him from the back side, and hopefully he's there. All right, good for Wish me luck. This is this moment that you live for right here. Sneaking up in stealth mode, I hope to see a massive shadow beneath the surface. These animals are perfectly in tune with their environments and can sense even the slightest disturbance in the water. Stumpbeak is smarter than you would think, and at any sign of a potential threat, this reptilian giant will quickly disappear back into the murky darkness. Water depth and clarity back there is perfect, but he was already moved too far away from that log. Did you see him come up? No. Further out? Yeah, he came up further out. He surfaced, and then he saw me. Exploring the ancient waters of Ashton Pond by kayak was my first tactic to capturing this legend, as I hoped to find Stumpbeak hunting near the surface. Unfortunately, the dark coloration of the water and its challenging depths made the idea of leaping from the kayak to capture a turtle pretty much impossible. It was time to use a little patience and a more intelligent approach. The stakeout. Stakeout time. Uh, the waiting game is sometimes the hardest part. And this is the fourth time that we've spent hours out here waiting for this turtle. That's why they call it fishing, not catching. What you're watching is the fourth attempt that we took at filming this episode. In total, nearly 50 hours were spent staring out at the water, following bubble trails, visualizing the moment when I would actually have a chance at landing this dragon. Just have to keep waiting. Everything about the environment right now says this is the day to land Stumpy. Perfect temperature, air is still, overcast skies. I think we're gonna get him today. On this particular day, we stayed on the dock for six hours, watching and waiting. Finally, we had him in our sights. Without a doubt, 100%, I'm looking at Stumpbeak, and I'm looking right into his eyes. So right now, Mark and I are laying on the dock at Ashton Pond. We have eyes on Stumpbeak. Mark is laying down watching the bubble trail. He's just staring at us, laughing, saying, come on, coyote, come out here. Try to catch me off your kayak. It's not going to happen. Oh, this turtle is so hard to catch. Before we knew it, the dragon was moving straight toward the dock. See what I'm looking at right here? Yep. I think he's trying to hunt around there or something. He's kicking up a lot of debris. And he stopped. We see his bubble trail. He keeps coming up. I think we actually stand a chance of catching this turtle today. This will be the biggest dragon you have seen yet on Dragon Tales if we can land this monster. We stayed low and out of sight. Boom, bubbles. The bubble trail inching ever closer, a giant beneath the surface. This was the moment we had been waiting for. Oh, dude, is there a head up right there? Straight out in front of us.
Looking down into the black water, I saw an ominous shadow rising from the darkness. And then, it happened. Yeah. I was over my head, with my hands, on a dragon. What are the size of that turtle? Oh my gosh, this is him! This is Stumpy! And that is how you leap from a dock to catch a dragon. Look at the size of his tail. Look at how big this turtle is. Oh my gosh, did you get that shot on camera? Yeah. Look at that face. Oh my gosh. This is the turtle that we have been staking out for for hours now. Look at the size of this turtle. Look at that dragon. My goodness. I almost took off my nose. Wow, okay. This is the largest snapping turtle that lives in this body of water. And he is an absolute dragon. One of the most prehistoric creatures you are gonna find in our metro parks. Look at the size of this turtle. That is a serious mud dragon right there. Without question, the largest common snapping turtle we have caught so far this season on Dragon Tails. Hey buddy, good to see you again. Now the reason that we call this turtle Stumpbeak is look at how the front of his face, oh jeez, sorry to get your camera a little splash here. He almost got my hand. His nose is kind of stumped off and as you can see, he's got a messed up eye on that one side. Makes him look old and gnarled. There's no doubt about it. This is one of the oldest turtles that you're gonna come across here in the Columbus Metro Parks. And he is truly the king of Ashton Pond. Oh, my heart is racing so fast right now. And nothing is crazier than jumping off of a dock to grab on to a massive snapping turtle. Okay, I'm bringing him up. You ready? Watch your camera. Back it up a little bit. Yeah, follow him up. I'm gonna go real slow. So I do not take claws in the face. Here we go. Be real gentle with him. Slowly let him walk down. Oh, here you go, buddy. Walk on down. Walk on down. Is he coming towards you? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. All right. Is he up? Yeah. Is he safe? Okay. Yeah. Yo, watch my fingers here. I'm coming up. Watch the camera. Side. All right. I'm coming up. Ready? Yep. Oh, great. He's coming right for me. There he is. Look at the size of that turtle. My goodness. It doesn't get much bigger than this. Look at the size of that tail. Unbelievable how big this common snapping turtle is. I'm gonna slowly turn him like this so you can get a better look at him. And there he is. This is Stumpbeak, ladies and gentlemen. The largest common snapping turtle that lives here in Ashton Pond. A true legend, a true dragon, and probably one of the most difficult captures we've had this entire year on Dragon Tales. We have spent four days staking out here hours alone this morning watching this turtle's bubble trail, seeing him surface, seeing him out on the far side of the pond, sticking that little head up in the air, going back down. Finally, once Mark and I laid down on the dock, he thought everybody was gone, his bubble trail came close, I was able to see his shadow underwater, jump and nab this beautiful common snapping turtle. Look at how prehistoric that animal is. Now, this turtle's, I'm guessing, just beyond 50 pounds, which will give him title of largest common snapping turtle caught so far this season on Dragon Tails. Look at how big he gets when he's up off of the ground. Look at that, how they can completely push their bodies up in the air. Now he'd climb right over the top of this dock here and splash right back down into the water. And we're not gonna let him do that yet because we're still gonna get some measurements, but look at how massive this turtle is. So cool to be this close to a turtle this big. Look at how large his carapace is. I mean, this is like a dome tank. If you're to see this turtle out there floating in the water, completely stretched out, he's probably close to about four feet in length from the tip of his tail to the tip of his nose when his face is all the way stretched out. I mean, his feet are as big as my hands. His claws are like the claws of a grizzly bear. He's just, he's massive. In the photographs that Carl provided us, you could see that the back of the turtle's carapace had these real distinct ridges right here, almost made it look like an alligator snapping turtle. And then this very distinct square pattern in the middle, like most snapping turtles have on their carapaces. There's, there's no doubt in my mind, this is the turtle that Carl and the other photographers have been seeing here. He's easily that big. Um, if there's a turtle out here that's bigger than old Stumpbeak, we certainly haven't seen it. And it's been hard enough just to catch this one. And this turtle is about as close as you will ever get to the Loch Ness Monster. Uh, there's no question about it, this turtle is over 50 pounds, which means we are going to be using our 100 pound scale today. Give me a buddy, 
in the bag. Okay, the moment of truth. We're gonna get Stump Beak's official weight. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Heavy. Oh yeah, that is a backbreaker right there. All right, let's see. 54 pounds. That is officially the largest common snapping turtle we have caught this year on Dragon Tails. An absolute monster. My goodness. All right, let's get him back out of the bag here. Explain this process. <laughs> what, getting him back out of the bag? Yeah. Well, back out of the bag is usually tougher than getting him into the bag. I just want to be as gentle as possible. We get the tail out first, like so. And once he kind of feels that his hind limbs are out, I can usually just coax him out. Okay, here we go, ready? I'm gonna lift him up in the bag, should kind of just drop off. Here we go, pull it, watch your fingers. There, there he is. is. All right, buddy, out of the bag. Out of the bag. Okay, what a good looking boy. All right, that wasn't too bad, was it? At a whopping 54 pounds, Stumpbeak is officially the largest common snapping turtle that we've caught so far this season on Dragon Tails. Now we know he isn't a world record, so you guys know what that means. The search continues. To stake out, capture, and record Old Stump Beak was an incredible challenge. Carl's encounter with the legend of Ashton Pond and his photographs that backed up the tale proved exactly what his eyes had seen. An enormous common snapping turtle stalks the dark murky waters of central Ohio. Wow, what an awesome capture. The largest turtle that lives here in Ashton Pond. And now my favorite part, the moment when we release the dragons back into the wild. All right, Stump Beak, you ready to head back out there and hunt for some fish? He says, let me back into the wild. All right, here we go, ready? Uh, this is the part that always scares me a little bit. The moment I let him go, hopefully they don't turn back around and bite me. Here we go, one, two, three. See you later, buddy. 54 pounds is a serious dragon, but an even larger turtle is rumored to be lurking in a lost lake set deep in the wilds of Rowan, Indiana. And a man named Bill Haywood has devised a plan to capture it. Look at how big that one is. It's a huge turtle. Next time on Dragon Tales.